Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honeybee's YouTube channel. I'm Skinny Bee Man. Today we're going to talk about the NICOT system. It's a system to raise queen cells with. Uh, it's a little bit beyond the backyard beekeeper. I mean, the guy wants to raise ten, eight or ten cells at a time. You don't need to do this. But you know, you can graft up to a hundred cells with this thing if everything works fine. Uh, we'll kind of go through the basics. I'm no expert at it, but we'll give you through the basics so you could use it and uh, go from there. This is the fifth episode of Raising Queen Cells. This will be the last one probably for a while on uh, queen cell raising. I'll give you several ideas how to make cells and they all work. Uh, I'll get the camera readjusted and we'll try to walk through this. Okay, the basic of this system is this little square box. This system cost about 80 bucks. Uh, consists of this square. You mount it, screw it or nail it to a regular frame. Now you can take it and put that, put this in a hive and let them draw it all out. I didn't go through all that particular. I took a drawed out frame, cut the wax out, cut this square out, set it in there, rubber band them in, put it in a hive for a day and, and they, they waxed it all in for me. Uh, the system, don't have a hive tool with me. consist of these little bit your cell cups this is what the queen's gonna don't have any fingernails there's one cell cups this is what the queen's gonna lay her eggs in you'll take the back off of it load all I think there's a hundred one two three four five six seven eight Actually, there's 110 in here. You got to load them all up. Don't leave any. Don't leave any of them empty. You put the face plate back on it, and then you take this frame and go to the mother hot colony that you're wanting to graft the queen from. No matter where it's a 5 frame, 8 frame, or 10 frame. Take a frame right out of the middle. And take that frame, move it to another box up, or give it to another hive, whatever. Put this frame in there. For 24 hours. That lets them clean all the cells out. The workers, they'll polish the cells like that. You come back in after 24 hours. You go to the front side of it then. You take this little plug out. Right here. You catch the queen out of that mother hive. You release her right in that opening. Shut her up. Put the frame right back in, right down the middle of the brood chamber. Close them up. Okay, and in five days you don't do nothing for five days check it in five days pull that frame out turn it over look on the back side where you can see the cell cups if there's any royal jelly in any of these cells that means the larva has hatched if there's none hatched put it back in there and give them another day and uh, till you get some that's hatched with royal, with royal jelly in it Once you got some with royal jelly in it, you come in here and you pull it. The queen can't get out. I 
act as she can. If you don't, if you take this whole back cover off, you got to put your little piece of styrofoam right here in this corner where the queen can't get out while you're doing this. And they come with these little cell holder cups. You just reach in there, grab one that's got the royal gel in it. That's the larva attached. You got him there. You've prepared a bar, a grafting bar. Comes with these little brown mounts. And you just stick that in there, like that. And then you'll put it in a grafting frame. You can make your grafting frame out of a regular frame. That's what this is. This is not really my NICOP bar. It's my grafting bar. That's why it fits so loose. It ain't made for this. Anyway, you put them all the way across there like that. Then you take this frame and put it in a queenless hive. You can have, there's, I think there's 12 I get across there. You can put a double bar in there, 24 easy enough. And put them in a queenless, strong queenless hive. Put it right in the middle of the brood chamber. Give them a pollen patty on top. It's called a starter hive. Now, you can either in 24 hours come in and pull this frame out. And they will, they will have started little wax rings around these cups. After 24 hours. Take this frame. And you can put it back in a queen right hive. A double deep, eight frame, five frame, ten frame, doesn't matter. Get the queen in the bottom box, put a queen extruder on it. Bring two frames of open brood up, a frame of pollen, a frame of honey in the top box. Set this right down by the uh, pollen frame on this side and a honey frame on that side and the two broods on each side of it. They will finish these out. A fin uh, finisher hive can only finish about 20 cells. 24 might be pushing it. They could probably do that, but that's about all they can do. Or you could leave it in this starter finisher if it's a good strong hive and let them finish it right there. So from the day you put the grass in, 10 days later, you'll come in and you got you'll have cells like this. You take they comes with the hair roller cages. You take the hair roller cage and open the bottom up. Take a toothpick, drop just a little drop of honey in these little slots right here. Don't get it up on top because she'll wall her in it and get stuck to the cage. You put it down the bottom. Then fit right up over the queen cages like that have them all the way across there put it back in your finisher hive two days they'll hatch um, you can turn virgins loose if you want to do cells instead of putting them in the hair roller cages you could come in there on day 10 and pull these off here like this And put them in your mating nuke or another hive. Just set them between your frames, just like that. And they'll hatch, and you'll you'll have queens. Uh, pretty, it's a pretty simple system. Once you get the hang of it, you can produce a lot of cells. Uh, I think you need to wait till you got at least ten or twelve sales hat so you can fill one bar up because I don't think if you put cells in a starter each day because you can put this back in the mother hot colony and pull it out the next day and pull some more out and put them put another make another bar up and move them to another starter hive but it's a pretty easy pretty easy system works really well that's for the guy that uh, wants to produce more than just a half a dozen cells. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next time.